Joining me now, the Honorable Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Chairman of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Thank you so much, Madam Chair. Thank you for joining us. In light of all this, uh, how are you and your family doing? Thank you so much, uh, Rick, for number one, for hosting me today to allow me to speak to the citizens of Douglas County. Uh, the family, my family and I are doing as well as possible under these unprecedented uh, circumstances. However, I'm laser focused focus on the citizens of Douglas County. Government is still running um, as usual. And uh, certainly my heart goes out to all our citizens uh, in, in Douglas County, in the state of Georgia and across this nation. Thank you, thank you. I've had some questions, you know, I wanted to ask, you know, to help uh, inform citizens of uh, what's going on in regards to COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Uh, I understand the Atlanta Regional Commission uh, has some funding for senior services that's coming through. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the funding that's coming through, thank you, Rick, that's a great question. Um, we have um, our some funding coming down from the Atlanta Regional Commission. Uh, certainly, I serve as the uh, interim chairman of the uh, Senior and Aging Board at the Atlanta Regional Commission. And we're real excited that some federal government uh, funding will be coming down from the uh, federal government. And um, right now, we don't have a number yet, but Douglas County is, is, is considered one of the metro counties. So we will uh, get a piece of the pie. Uh, we've already submitted all the documents and the grant uh, information the application so we can uh, uh, secure some funding here in Douglas County. Tell me something. I understand there was a, uh, a meeting. You held a meeting earlier this week, a virtual meeting uh, with the Wellstar administrator and have some news to share in regards when it comes to uh, hospital admissions on COVID-19? Yes, actually, I, Rick, thank you again. I, I had an opportunity to um, uh, speak with uh, Mr. Craig Owens. I was actually on a, a teleconference um, um, event, and he spoke on behalf of the things that are going on at Wellstar Doug Douglas, and it was very encouraging to hear that the uh, COVID uh, admissions are down uh, which is good. So that tells me that we are doing some things right, or mostly, I should say, all the things that we're doing are right, such as shelter in place is a good uh, uh, concept, and also with that uh, social distancing component. So right now, the um, admissions have been uh, down for the last seven days. I have not spoken with him this week, but I, that was last Thursday we met. So I will meet again this th uh, Friday. And then I'll get another a new update. But it was so encouraging last week to hear that those uh, that our hospital admissions are down at Wellstar Douglas. Gotcha. I know one question that's on the minds of many of the citizens in Douglas County uh, and businesses as well. What do you think about the reopening of Douglas County? Um, is that under consideration? Uh, can you tell us the latest with that? Certainly, um, the the governor's uh, shelter in place orders certainly it trumps Douglas County's uh, orders. You know, our shelter in place it supersedes our orders uh, here in Douglas County. But however, when those uh, the restrictions are, are lightened up or decreased, then I certainly I, I would be happy to just uh, expound on what my considerations would be. Uh, certainly, as a daughter of a 50-year business owner, my mother is a business owner, small business owner, and I certainly understand. I grew up all my entire life uh, in a small business uh, arena, so I understand what it means. It breaks my heart that our businesses, our, our small businesses and all our businesses, the ones that are uh, non-essential, had to shut down uh, just uh, briefly. But however, what I, I want to do is be very uh, strategic, measured, uh, take a measured approach simply because, uh, again, we don't want to relapse. That's that's the worst thing in the world that could happen. And uh, I believe what we had in place initially with just uh, some of the non-essential businesses uh, operating between 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, prior to the governor's uh, uh, shelter-in-place order would be something that would it allow us to take some baby steps because again, remember this is uh, a marathon and not a sprint, and we just wanna make sure that we don't have a relapse. Certainly also there's some opportunity for some testing that uh, we need uh, some more measured, uh, should I say data regarding testing. Uh, we still uh, need to cast a wider net 
to 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 conduct more testing. So that, uh, and I certainly don't want to allow our emotions to get ahead of logic. And then uh, another um, thing that's very concerning is we need an antibody test as well. So you need two. You need the COVID testing uh, approach, and then we need the anti antibody to see who's been exposed, who's had it, or uh, at that point, or who. Who is now? I call it. You are no longer. Uh, you, you've had COVID nineteen, and you were in a um, asymptomatic uh, um, state, and you really didn't know you had it. But we just want to be able to test, and that'll allow us to look at the population, and like other states, and then we just slowly filter our, our, our people back into the work setting because, uh, you know, as a healthcare. Uh, employee for 40 years, I should have say professional. I certainly, I I'm concerned about health as well. And I want to make sure that every citizen in Douglas County and all our business owners are safe as well. That's my Speaking of, I'm sorry, say again. No, I said that's, that's the response I have because I'm sensitive to both the economic approach of the economic side and also to the health side. So I fall right in the middle. I hear you. I hear you. I understand, you know, we shared um, last week that testing began. Uh, Cobb and Douglas Public Health uh, began testing in the city of Douglasville, here in Douglas County, at Hunter Park. And you were there. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, uh, it's certainly another milestone for Douglas County. We uh, now have a testing site uh, at uh, Hunter Park uh, in Douglasville, which um, uh, myself and Mayor Robinson uh, was there with uh, Dr. Meemark on uh, last Friday. Um, this uh, testing site is uh, one of 31 uh, test sites in the state of Georgia. And you know, we have 159 counties. So not only Douglas County citizens will be utilizing this, but Cobb County citizens and Fulton County and any county within the state of Georgia, if we have someone maybe perhaps at work here at uh, in Douglas County, and they live in Fulton, but uh, they certainly can utilize this testing station because, again, it's just one of 31. But uh, today we did send some information out. We are focusing on not only uh, we look in, we even um, we have a number available. We're casting a wider net. We're even looking at those uh, citizens who are asymptomatic as well. Uh, uh, they certainly, if they have some of the um, symptoms. Uh, they have an opportunity to be tested. So the number that I provided to you earlier, Rick, and I'm certainly would you just uh, share that with the citizens because we'll I don't do. have that information before me. Okay. Ab absolutely. We'll make sure that gets out. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, encourage everyone to stay engaged to celebrate DouglasCounty.com where we'll have that information out as well as uh, our Facebook happenings page and DCTV23 Facebook as well. Chairman Jones, yes. what's your reaction to citizens who are concerned about the impact of COVID-19 on the economy specifically? Uh, my, my reaction is similar to uh, most of the population of citizens in the entire nation. We're stunned. This is a moment that uh, we are living history right now. Uh, none of us had, uh, have ever experienced anything on such a catastrophic uh, level. And um, again, with the economy, I am just hopeful and prayerful that we will uh, certainly make a, a, a sharp turn and recover uh, sooner than later. Uh, I'm always optimistic. I'm an optimistic leader. Uh, I believe that this too shall pass, but we have to work together uh, to, to get to that milestone. Uh, this is, again, we need to stay the course uh, that we have now, but just to look at those, the, at the economy, I, I'm, I'm like everybody else. I'm, I'm um, concerned, but at the same time, I'm optimistic. Gotcha. Gotcha. Before we close, is there anything else uh, you wanted to add or share uh, to the citizens of Douglas County? Yes. Uh, first, I would like to say that uh, to the citizens of Douglas County that I hope that you and your families are doing well uh, amidst this coronavirus uh, pandemic. Uh, this is all a time that we are all just, again, this is all, this is a new normal for all of us. And uh, it could be stressful as we grapple with this catastrophic uh, situation. Uh, I would like to express, uh, number one, I'm excited about uh, the citizens that who have had the COVID-19 and they've recovered. 
And then I'm saddened by the six um, citizens that we lost uh, during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and I send my deepest respect and condolences to the families of the six citizens that we lost. Uh, also, I would just like to say that we do have um, the Board of Commissioners and I are very committed to making sure that we uh, reduce the transmission and risk of this, uh, I call it this virus. It, it's a uh, atypical virus. It's one of the most um, unorthodox viruses in U.S. history. Uh, again, like I said, my background is healthcare, and it's really concerning. But at the same time, we are committed to making sure that we provide resources. We've gotten out uh, a, a voluminous amount of uh, information. Uh, communication to the citizens that we will con continue to do so. We've sent out mailers to their homes. We're working with the small businesses. That's very important. We've, we've got information regarding that the disaster relief information. So, and we're looking not only with our small businesses, but we've gone taking it a step further. We've reached out to the faith-based organizations. We're working with our power and water companies to make sure that our our citizens, uh, there's no dis. Uh, their um, services are not being disconnected. We're working to make sure that everyone stay in their home at this time. We're looking at no evictions. We've done everything possible in my mind, and I'm still working to make sure our seniors have first-class treatment, uh, as always, here in Douglas County. And then, again, that grant is going to really put a shot in the arm for us. And our homeless population, we've uh, put $10,000 on the table to make sure that our, our homeless population have food, and we've already spent about $7,000 purchasing food, resources, and supplies to support our homeless population. I would end with this by saying, we're all in this together, but at the end of the day, I always sit behind every storm, there is a rainbow. And I feel so optimistic that the citizens of Douglas County, uh, this will be a historic moment for us. Our character is very, it, it's tested in a moment of crisis. But at the end of the day, this will be something that we will talk about. We will talk about how we stayed the course, and we'll talk about how we won. And we will win because I am so optimistic that Douglas County is poised, always has been poised for excellence. And uh, I've always said my final word is there's no room for second place, and we will be first place in recovering from this uh, horrible pandemic. Thank you, Rick. Chairman Jones. Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, I can't thank you enough for taking the time uh, to share, you know, your thoughts and the latest updates uh, for Douglas County this week on DCTV 23's weekly update on COVID-19. Thank you for joining us, ma'am. Thank you.